I will be showing you exactly how to use lead pages and I will be going over all of its features. So in this lead pages tutorial, I will show you how to set up your account properly, how to build your first landing page using a template and how to pick a template that could be good for your specific landing page needs and also how to publish your landing page. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. So I am in the lead pages website right here. You just want to click on try it for free. So that will take you to the pricing right here. So they have a standard plan at $37 per month and a pro plan at $74 per month. So you can start a free trial on either one of these, or you can also contact them, but I will just start a free trial in the standard plan. So let's click on start free trial. So they have a 14 day free trial and you can choose to sign up with Google or sign up with your email. I will sign up with Google. Then you can choose to receive emails or you can click on no thanks. So I will do no thanks. Now, as you can see, you can sign up for your 14 day free trial. There is zero dollars due today. And then you can connect your PayPal or you can add a credit card. So I will add a credit card. Then after clicking on start my free trial, you will come right here and it will say your trial has started. Now I'm going to click on skip right here. Now it will ask you what industry are you in? So you can choose to skip these questions, but I recommend to actually answer these. So for this example, I will say real estate. Now here in the dashboard, you will have seven steps that they want you to follow. So get to know the builder, book your lead generation call, connect an integration, set up your brand, begin connecting a custom domain, share your page and join the live conversion coaching. So I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to click on landing pages right here. Now let's click on create a new landing page since that is what we are here for. So let's click right here. Then here you can see all the page templates. So you can see these templates. Uh, for example, this one is for a free ebook opt-in. Then you have a free guide. So just pick something that works for you. You can also sort them by most popular, newest. You can go through the collections, the page type, the industry. So I will pick real estate right here. And now as you can see, it will show you some real estate templates. Then you can choose the style and you can choose a color that you want. You can also change this later. So then go through these templates and find one that you really like and pick that one. So let's find one. Okay, so I want to do this one, real estate landing page. So then where you have picked your template, just go ahead and click on start building. Now you want to give this page a name. So I will call it page number one. So then you will come right here in the landing page builder. So here you can see what it is like right now. And for this example, it is about one house and you can see the price, the bedrooms, the bathrooms. And this is just a landing page that you can then link to an advertisement, for example. Then you have the schedule a tour right here. And when you scroll a bit down, you can see everything that is included in this template. So this will probably be different for your template, but you can see all of these images, for example. And these are not the images of the house that you will be selling. And this is not you. So what you want to do is just go over everything. For example, if it has two bedrooms, click on edit right here and then type two bedrooms. Then if it has one bathroom, type one bathroom, etc. You can also change the font, the text size, line spacing and everything it says right here. So now let's change this name to, for example, if my real estate business is called this, then let's call it this. And then here at the address, the correct price. And then here you have the schedule a tour button. So when people click on this, you want them to be able to schedule a tour in your calendar. So to do this, click on edit click event. So now here, when we scroll down a bit, you can see open a Calendly pop-up. So let's select this right here. And then here you can put in your Calendly URL. So then when they click on this, so now this is what the website looks like. And when they click on schedule a tour, they will be asked to enter their name and their email. So then you can send them your tour times through email, or as I just showed you, you can also click on edit click event and then choose to open a Calendly pop-up and then enter your URL if that is what you want. So then they can book in a time themselves. But the standard one is to collect their email and then you can actually send them an email and schedule a time to see this house in this example. And now, if you want to add an entire section to this landing page, you can go to sections right here. And then here you can choose a section type. So for example, call to action, contact us or any one of these here. So I will do a contact us section. So I will put that in right here. And then you can change the text, for example, interested, book a house, something like this. Of course, this should be tailored to your specific landing page. 
and then they can fill in their email address and then I will show you where you can find these email addresses that people enter right here. If you want to change the color of this button right here, you can click on it and then click on customize button. Then here you can click on button color and you can change the color to something else. Now, if you have a background picture here that you want to change, you can click on styles then click on background and then add an image in right here. You can also choose a background color, but you cannot see this because there is a picture right now. Now here, when you click on settings, you can do the SEO settings. So for example, here you have the SEO page keyword, the page description. So just write a little bit about this page in the description. So for example, this one is about a Minneapolis home that is for sale. And I would write something like this. Now you can do the keywords. So for example, Minneapolis real estate, something like this, and then click on save. So then you have done the SEO for this page. So then when people look for Minneapolis real estate, you have a bigger chance of ranking there. Now let's click on publish right here. Now here you can set your lead pages domain. So let's set it to Minneapolis and then click save. So like this and then click on publish. Now your landing page has been published. So let's see what it looks like right now. So this is the link and then when you open it, you will see this right here. So this is how we edit it. And when we click on schedule a tour, we can enter our first name and our email and then click on send me tour times. So I will show you where we can find this email right now. So let's go back here and then click out of this page and then go back. And then here we have our page. So you can see the visitors and the conversions. So the conversion is the person that has entered their email. So now here, click on leads. And now here you can see the email that we just entered in, in the other tab. So then you can go ahead and contact this person, or if it is, for example, an ebook, you can set up that you sent an ebook to this email when they enter their email. So let's click on domains right here. This is where you can connect an existing domain. So if you already have a domain, you can click on connect a domain and then enter the URL then choose if any content currently exists at this domain, click next, and then follow the next steps to actually connect it. So then here in integrations, you can integrate your lead pages account with a bunch of different softwares. So here you have a few, and when you scroll down further, you can see some integrations that are powered by Zapier. So this is actually how you can set up to send an ebook automatically, for example. They have a lot of different softwares that you can integrate. So figure out which one you want to do and then set it up right here. So for example, choose Gmail to connect a Zap open the form you want to connect to within the builder. Now, when we go back to the dashboard right here, here you can see the performance. So you have your views, visitors and conversions. So now you can also do split tests. So if you want to test this page right here against another one, you can click on create new split test. And then you can do split test with the pro or advanced plan. You can also just create a new landing page if that is what you would like to do. So now when you have created your landing page, you can just go ahead and promote it and do whatever you would like with it. So that's how to use lead pages. If this lead pages tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.